Hi, air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see who's coming towards you. So, who's going to be your next, um, your next lover here? What will they be like? How will the two of you meet? This is going to be a general reading, guys. Please just keep that in mind. If you're after personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and take a look and see who's going to be, or who's coming towards you and what will your next major relationship be like. Alright, you've got the world card. Could very well be someone that you connect with online okay with the world card here could it could be someone that you might meet um, so on one of your social media um, pages could be someone that you connect with on a dating app um, it could be someone that you respond to or you connect with online uh, or otherwise it could also be someone who is now, this person may be in your country on a visa, okay? They may be living on, in your country on a working or a, a work or a travel or a study visa. They could also be someone who was born overseas. So this person may possibly was born overseas or was born to parents who, you know, were born overseas. Um, it feels like there may be, it feels like this person comes from a different background has a different cultural background such as yourself i'm also picking up an accent someone who speaks with an accent even if it's just like a slight accent uh someone whom or someone who could speak several languages okay so bilingual here they could also be someone who's very well known someone who is maybe famous whether it is internet famous that's a thing these days uh, or whether this person may be like a, a movie star or a bit of a someone who has celebrity status either in your country or overseas but I feel like this is someone who might I'm getting that they are successful or they are destined for success or this is someone who is yeah who's famous or who has who rubs shoulders with celebrities okay celebrity status is coming up as well um a lot of travel so for those of you so i'm picking up a lot of travel either this person is very well cultured well traveled or it's possible that you could also meet this person whilst on your travel so especially for those of you that are planning to travel okay whether for study purposes or to live abroad i'm picking up that it's very likely that you might potentially connect with someone on your travels okay um, makes sense, right? Especially if this person, you know, is coming across as someone who lives, uh, you know, who might have been born overseas or has an accent. Um, I'm picking up that this person is here to guide you from one phase of your journey to the next. But also, you know, whilst bringing you a sense of balance and a sense of harmony, I do think that this is your next, you know, the person that is coming towards your next major relationship might just wear well, very well, sorry, might just very well be your last. So it could be someone that you potentially end up settling down with. It could be someone that you potentially will enter into a uh, long-term commitment Okay. The cards are also predicting a possible engagement with this person, a wedding, a marriage, and also possible children. Now, there's a lot of attraction between you and this individual. For some of you, it is going to be an instant connection, an instant attraction, a lot of chemistry, a lot of... Um, they're quite attractive. There's going to be quite a gravitational pull towards this person okay and the both of you are, are drawn and attracted to each other like magnets they're coming across as very bold very adventurous here yeah, someone very passionate someone who can be a little bit impulsive with their actions someone quite direct i'm picking up success around this person either they are going to like they're destined for success sustainable success 
or there's something about their energy which tells me like they may already have created some sort of lasting impact okay so especially if they've sort of attributed to you know their talents to a worldly platform i'm also seeing that this person is quite creative and they hold a lot of power there's a leadership role that's coming up around this person and their energy so maybe they're a ceo they're um you know an entrepreneur here they're some sort of or just got this aura of leadership around them they can sometimes come across as a little bit arrogant or aggressive especially when they want to pursue something and it feels like this is the type of person who's going to want to pursue you this is the type of person who enjoys the thrill of the chase the thrill of the hunt um, a lot of attraction and i think that attraction the more you get to know each other the more that that chemistry and attraction is going to build but i definitely see that this individual is someone who enjoys the thrill of the chase the thrill of the hunt they can be in their head too much they can this is someone who can have their guard up this is someone who maybe look they might have been hurt in the past and trusting doesn't come so easily to this individual so it might take although that instant connection that instant attraction will be there it just might take a while for them to bring their guard down it might take a while for them to sort of open themselves up to you because i do see that they've been hurt in the past i do feel like they've been through some things but it's definitely you know created this resilience and this um persistence this courageous energy in them uh boundaries is coming up big i don't know if because this person you know in time they've learned to put up and develop healthy boundaries i'm not sure if that's because there's going to be some i don't know some boundaries between you and this person that you might have to find a way to navigate um this is someone who is very resilient doesn't give up so easily they want children they want children. I feel like this person is also um, someone who, like for them, family is very big. They want a family. They want long-term commitment. But I, I don't think this person is in a rush to get there. I think this person, you know, wants to be sure that they are settling down with someone who wants the same things. They may already have a child, okay? This person may already have a child from a previous relationship, partnership, or... Um, they may have even previously been married before or otherwise I'm seeing that they, there's nephews or nieces or even cousins that they're quite close to. They, they love children. They may even work with children. I'm getting quite an athleticism to this person, uh, quite an athletic build, tall as well, very tall, brown eyes is coming up very strongly. I just want to mention that, look, this person does have a little bit of insecurities that you might find a little bit challenging to deal with, okay? There's, in, there's insecurities that, like, they will feel quite insecure. They might feel like you're even too good for them. Um, and throughout the relationship, the connection, they may project their insecurities onto you. Obviously not willingly, but that's something that I'm seeing that they have to work through. You could meet this person whilst... Okay, for some of you, I think it, it, I'm seeing like islands, especially if you're traveling to go to, you know, to an island or, you know, vacation somewhere. It's very well that it's very likely that you might meet this person there. Um, or you could also be traveling. The two of you might be traveling together here. I feel like maybe for your, I don't know, maybe like a special anniversary um, or some sort of special date that I feel like this person may take you, uh, may surprise you with a sudden trip they're going to bring a lot of happiness into your life and this is someone who does have a very for the most part a very happy um just a very happy go lucky energy here um i'm also seeing that there's a lot of yeah this joy and marriage that this connection is going to bring you they're quite optimistic And I feel like you're going, to, you're going to bring a lot of happiness into this person's life as well. Even though they may have their guard up, I'm seeing that this person doesn't have a lot to hide. It's just that, you know, that it's important for them to develop trust early on. Um, there's a lot of joy and happiness that, are, that is coming to the both of you, into this connection. 
This person is very caring, very sensitive here. Uh, they just have a beautiful, warm, radiant energy to them. I'm also seeing that this is going to be magnetic. Their energy and this connection is the magnetic kind. It's the t it's the kind that's going to draw the two of you together. It's going to be the kind of romance, very romantic, the kind of romance you've always wanted. And to me, it does feel like you have the un the blessings of the universe here, as the universe, you know, it's two two people that are meant to be together in a connection so rare that you know even the universe wouldn't let, dare try and pull you apart. They're going to bring a lot of happiness, a lot of happiness and a lot of like sunshine into your life, a lot of positivity here as well. And I truly see you being very happy. I see you being very happy. I see you being very grateful for everything that you do have. You'll get your Ten of Cups, your ideally happily ever after scene with this person. So I think your next relationship might just very well be your last. And that's, you know, your happily ever after relationship. You riding off into the sunset, Disney style. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.